Port of Long Beach and transportation officials, legislators, civic and community leaders, and members of the press recently gathered beneath the Gerald Desmond Bridge to kick off a historic project that will reshape the Long Beach skyline. The Gerald Desmond Bridge replacement project is officially a go. This new bridge is, as you know, we've turned a bridge to everywhere. It's a culmination of efforts by a lot of stakeholders, uh, federal level, state uh, level, and the local level. So I think that the, through the leadership of the various stakeholders, you have the result. And again, now estimated a cost of $950 million, it's going to be a state-of-the-art bridge. It, it says California's on the move again, you know, at a time when there's not a lot of infrastructure being built in the United States. We have now, besides the ports, we now have the, the connecting car to the Colton Crossing and the Desmond Bridge. The two key things are going to be fixed, and it's just wonderful. The project will bring thousands of jobs to the region, improve traffic conditions and air quality, and help the port to remain the premier gateway for international trade on the Pacific Rim. From a local economy standpoint, it's about 4,000 jobs a year now for the next five years while we're building this thing. And it's going to be just a fantastic icon for the city of Long Beach. This project is critical for us to remain, to keep our competitiveness and for us to be able to um, keep those huge contracts that we currently have that reflects into thousands and thousands of jobs. When the bridge opened in 1968, no one could have imagined the traffic and trade volume demands being placed on it today. The Gerald Desmond supports 68,000 traffic trips each day and connects 15% of the nation's waterborne cargo to the marketplace. And it does all of this with only five lanes sitting precariously low for the cargo vessels that must pass beneath. And although this aging bridge is safe to drive, it is deteriorating. You'll notice it has a netting underneath it and parts of the concrete are breaking from the rebar and it's, uh, it's an old bridge and it's past its useful life requires an enormous amount of maintenance and it's not high enough to be able to accommodate the new efficient uh, cargo carriers that come in here. So it, it really does need replacement and it's a major piece of in infrastructure for the ports. The new bridge, which will cost nearly $1 billion to build, is expected to generate more than $2 billion in economic activity here in Southern California. It will be six lanes wide and include emergency lanes to prevent delays and be tall enough to allow the latest generation of megaships to pass safely beneath. It's going to accommodate the bigger vessels, and the bigger vessels that are going to be uh, coming, uh, calling on the, on the Port of Long Beach are those vessels that are more environmentally friendly. The grade will be much more gentle. It's 8% 8, 8 grade now, it'll be a 5% grade. Uh, better gas mileage from the trucks that'll be going up, less emissions, so uh, that's another huge environmental benefit. And again, it'll enable us to get, uh, grow this port and get uh, more cargo, which means more jobs and everything else. So it's got a, a lot of benefits. Preliminary construction will begin in 2011, and both Caltrans and the Port of Long Beach will work together over the next five years to ensure the project's success for the good of the local community, the region, and the entire nation. For more information, visit www.polb.com bridge.